Hey everybody, Scott Grossman here, project manager for our Clear Creek Canyon Gateway segment project. We're at the Gateway Trailhead, so right at the intersection of US 6, 58, and 93 right behind me. We're out to look at permeable pavers today. So we talked about this a couple months ago. We're actually installing them now. So you see they get delivered on pallets and pallets and pallets. We have a little over 50,000 square feet to install. Uh, it's about 45 truckloads that get shipped in, about two a day. And they're actually creating the surface for our parking lot. So as we walk over here, we'll take a look at them. So instead of a traditional asphalt parking lot, we have these pavers. Now this does a couple things. Part of low impact development, has some sustainability features to it. But what happens is instead of pavers being jointed right next to each other, you have these little tabs on each paver, which creates about a quarter inch gap. So when water hits it, it flows through that gap. And what you're not seeing below all this is about three feet of various aggregates. So when water hits it, it instantly seeps right down into it and back into the groundwater as opposed to asphalt where that water would hit and it would quickly go to the curb, the gutter, end up in an inlet and eventually end up in our situation, Clear Creek. Uh, so this is a situation where it allows us to maximize parking. We don't need some of the water quality structures that we would need otherwise with an asphalt parking lot. Our water quality structure is actually this parking lot. So super cool design, something we're really excited about. Um, the buggy behind me is how they actually go and install these. There's a lot of hand work involved, but this machine will actually take a whole layer off of a pallet behind me. So that's 12 square feet. Pick it up as one unit and drop it. So you'll start to see that happening uh, in the patterns that are created as part of that. So they're doing about two to 3,000 square feet a day. I mentioned they have a little over 50,000 square feet to do. So they'll be here for a couple weeks. We'll check them out, see how the progress is going with the next update. With that, let's head up Canyon, see what's going on around Tunnel 1. So we've moved over to our tough cusp bridge on the east side of Tunnel 1. We're currently in between the Tunnel 1 trailhead and the Oxbow around Tunnel 1. Lots of really exciting things going on here. So first over on this side, stone veneer is going in on our wall. A lot of art, a lot of craftsmanship of this. This is natural stone. They're chipping it down to about six inches, playing with each piece to figure out where it's gonna fit and how to make it fit best. Chipping off little pieces as they need, coming out with an absolutely beautiful product. On the other side over here is our trail connection from the bridge to the Oxbow Tunnel 1. I've mentioned before, some, this is some of the most difficult construction that we have on site, mainly because of the big boulders that are in here from when they blasted out Tunnel 1. It's also really steep. You're just below the US 6 highway. But we've actually cut in the, the road or what will be our future trail. Difficult stuff, what you can see is how this is actually constructed. As we come over this way, you get a better view of it. But you come in, you start cutting it in. We use old Jersey barriers. So our contractor is in the Jersey barrier business too. And all their old Jersey barriers aren't fit for the road. They come to projects like this and they're used as temporary walls. So this stabilizes that downhill slope, allows us to cut into the uphill side. And on the far side, they're actually putting in the shoring. So big pins that go in, they'll hold the hillside back so that we can then continue to dig deeper and it'll eventually look like this wall that we showed before with the stone veneer. So this is a big piece for us. Every part of the project is now started, everything's cleared, everything's open, and, and we're getting closer to actually opening this to the public. So we'll be ready come late July, early August. Can't wait to see you out here. As always, be happy, be healthy, be safe.